a non-governmental organization under the auspices of Feed the Vulnerable Families in Nigeria Foundation has staged a street advocacy and awareness on curbing chronic terminal diseases, particularly among the less privileged and community dwellers. The group, during the sensitization which took place across strategic areas of Oshobo, Oshun State Capital, enlightened residents on how to identify symptoms of the chronic ailment and steps to take to prevent it from escalating in the body system. We saw that there have been a lot of people coming online posting about chronic kidney diseases. So we wanted to create awareness on key points or signs to look out for when you have this disease because early detection can play a wrong role in easy prognosis. So we are trying to let people know that when this thing is happening to me, it calls for attention. And you don't need for this thing to happen to you to go to the clinic for checkup. And we Nigerians, we've seen that we are bad with that. If we are not on our deathbed or dying, we don't go to the hospital. We shouldn't be. And the motive behind this work for hope is to create awareness for chronic kidney diseases and oral cancer because they are both killer diseases and people don't know or people come for checkup at the late stage or end stage which is very wrong. We need to let people know that coming early to the hospital helps um, improve life quality. The NGO admonished those already suffering from the diseases to avoid self-medication just as it can vast regular medical checkups for any individual who discovers bodily strain signs for early discovery and prevention of the diseases. If there's anything wrong with you that you don't know, that sounds strange, please do not keep quiet. Reach out to people, walk into hospitals, we have the teaching hospitals, the states and the local government um, public health centre. Ask them questions, tell them how you feel and I'm pretty sure they'll be ready to help you. At the part of government, we we'll appreciate if you can get state, federal and local government uh, partnership. And uh, the last year anniversary, we had it in Lagos and we actually preached for this, that the foundations can't do it alone and we actually need the support of the government. The group also solicited government's partnership to broaden the scope of its operations on sensitization on chronic diseases.